Hey guys, so let's go over macros, right? Nothing new. But it seems as though people are still very confused as to what to eat, when to eat, how to eat it, you know, how to, how to, how to eat fat load, the timing of your food, the macros essentially, you know, the shopping list. So uh, yesterday, which is quite interesting, very cool, I was interviewed for, it's a pre-interview to the main interview of Paleo FX. First time they are introducing, no, they're actually creating a paleo, no, no, no. It's called Paleo FX, but it's a keto summit. Yeah, energy, energy. So uh, the questions were very cool. I really love them. And the woman was like, okay, so Steph, what do you feel are some of the unanswered questions regarding the ketogenic diet? And I was like, do you have time? <laughs> because I could go on for days. There are so many uh, misnomers and there's so many, uh, there's so much misinformation that uh, I thought I would just cover macros again, uh, clear out, clarify some, some uh, details that you guys might not consider. For example, so the reason why I came up with 200 grams of fat is because I was coaching, I still am, consulting online thousands of consultations where people actually used a glucometer and with that glucometer it can put you really close with also journaling and tracking your symptoms it can put you in that range of understanding if you are ketotic so of course I say you want to look for numbers between 69 and 80 milligrams per deciliter with the 1.8 to a 3.0 ketones and I came up with these tight ranges on my own through consistency and in journaling and numbers. So with that said, uh, people tended to have very low ketones under a 1.0 when their, when their fat was under 200. Simple math, came up with that conclusion very quickly because people were tired. They did not have the energy. They did not have the ketones and often their blood sugar was either too low or too high. So that's a simple understanding that you wanna start off with 200 grams of fat. Now we're all different heights and sizes and activity levels. But with that said, 200 grams of fat, people. You can't get out of it. Don't try to get away from it. It is what it mother second is. And that's just in the beginning phase of your keto adaptation to try to get your brain to go from glucose to ketones. You must have enough dietary fat as to be able to convert that fat into your liver as ketone bodies that can get into the Krebs cycle and pass the blood brain barrier so you don't feel like shite yes yes people so 200 grams of fat now the protein was also very easy people's blood sugar kept shooting up and it would be 30 45 minutes post uh, a meal of too much protein not only were they sleepy, but their blood sugar shot up super high. Uh, blood sugar shoots up and guess what? They wake up in the morning with fasted, horrible ketones under one. Now the vegetables, no, they're, they're quite interesting because vegetables are like um, cruciferous, yes. Cruciferous vegetables, cruciferous. That's the crunchy stuff. That's the broccoli, cauliflower, kale, asparagus, 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 and uh, green beans are not cruciferous, but these are the crunchy vegetables. They're very low in carbohydrate. And your body's got to break down all that fiber to get to the carbohydrate and also to the plant nutrients to get into the bloodstream and to the cells. So you want things to move slowly through the digestive tract when you're keto adapting so your blood sugar doesn't shoot up too high and the brain's like oh look at all that sugar coming in very quickly we're going to block that keto adaptation yes so guys macros are really easy two handfuls two cups of cruciferous measured uh, vegetables measured raw meats always measured cook cooked i've done very many video, uh, videos on the amount of protein and that you guys have to think about the quality of protein. If it's 
if it's pastured, non-corn-fed, non-steroid pumped animals that are pastured, that are eating what's off the land, makes a difference in your keto adaptation. The types of fats, right? The animal fats versus plant fats. If you've got a gut dysbiosis and histamine intolerance, which I'm realizing a lot of you guys have gut issues. So it's not just numbers or calories. It's a lot of stuff. So if you guys want to learn more, you can go to stephanieperson.com. And also we talked about all kinds of stuff, thyroid, uh, women's blood sugar shooting up around their menstrual cycle, just stuff you know people don't talk about on the internet. All right, uh, you can go to stephanieperson.com. I'm really excited to uh, be a part of the Paleo FX Keto Summit. So be looking out for that interview. It's going to be a Skype interview. And hopefully I can actually speak at the Paleo event. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, 70person.com. Uh, I'm still doing consultations. I'm writing the keto book. I want to break up the misnomers and use my data from being a scientist in the field and working with thousands of people and let you guys know what I've, what is it? What I've uh, found, my findings. And that's being written right now. I'm not announcing the release date because there is no release date. There's just a deadline to turn the end date. Yes. Uh, Stephaniepersoncom Stephanie the business person on my Facebook fan page. Stephanie Ketogenic on my Instagrammy. And I'm out. Peace.